In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate standard entropy changes. The first question reads, calculate the change in entropy for the reaction given the balanced chemical equation shown underneath. So we have to find the standard entropy change and we use the following formula shown underneath here. Let's analyze this. As you can see, we are taking the sum of the moles for each of the molecules that are produced, the products and we subtract it by the sum of the standard molar entropies of the molecules found in the reactants. Of course, you would need some sort of table to locate these numbers. I've conveniently done that for you, but if you were to do this on your own, you would have to find each of these molecules in that table. Let me show you how to use this formula. So we have the standard entropy change, delta S, for the reaction is equal to, focusing in on the products, we have four times NO, which has a standard molar entropy of 210.8, plus six molecules of the standard entropy for water, and that's 188. And also keep in mind that these numbers are joules per mole times Kelvin, and the units for this number are in moles. So when you multiply these two numbers out, the mole units cancel out, leaving you with J over K, joules over Kelvin. Keep that in mind. So we sum these up, that takes care of this part of the equation. And now we subtract the sum of the moles times the standard molar entropy for the molecules found here. Four times, focusing in on NH3, it's 192.8 plus five times that of oxygen, which is 205.2. Let's use our calculator. And I want to do this all in one go. So four times 210.8 plus six times 188.8 minus four times 192.8 plus five 205.2, close, close, and we end up with 178.8. So the standard entropy change for this reaction is equal to 178.8 joules per Kelvin. And notice that this number is positive. You would expect that because you're going from nine moles to 10 moles. So entropy is increasing. There's more disorder happening in this system. And when that happens, delta S is positive. Let's move on to question two. Calculate delta S for the balanced chemical equation shown underneath. I'm going to leave this question for you. If you would like the complete solution, just write a comment below and I will make a video dedicated for this question. And there you have it. That is how to calculate standard entropy changes.